Check one, two, check one, two. Ooh, I think I'm missing something. Where is it? Let's see. All right, there we go. Um, Jace just ate udon for dinner. That actually sounds like a pretty good dinner, at least compared to what I did yesterday. I don't normally eat dinner, okay? Uh, I don't normally eat, eat dinner. I usually eat like a lunch and I snack in between up to like evening, night, like around 6 p.m. Just because I try not to eat right before sleep, it, supposedly that's bad for you. Um, but I don't know. It, it's just a habit for uh, in, in my case. Anyway, yeah, yesterday was uh, b b probably better than what I did yesterday. I ate an entire pizza. <laughs> I I don't know why, but I have this really bad habit of like. If I have something easy in the fridge or freezer, fridge or freezer, uh, like frozen pizza or some ice cream, I tend to overeat that like crazy. And in this case, I ate an entire pizza. And it's apparently an, a habit of mine uh, on some weekends, yesterday being one of them. <laughs> And maybe even today, I don't know. Um, that is still up in the air, but udon sounds good. I might actually get some, maybe not udon. I know that's heretical, say, considering we are doing a udon episode today in Wagutabi, but uh, I do have some soba I could boil up and mix that with some curry that I made, I guess it's last week now. But last week, for lunch. So, yeah. I thought I was the only one with malnutrition. You're not the only one with malnutrition, but I think my malnutrition is in... Bur not burst. Uh, in odd spots. I, w I would never say I eat healthy. <laughs> I would never claim that. But I eat better than uh, some people, I suppose. Curry soba is... Curry soba, I mean, you can put curry with anything. I mean, there's curry pan, there's curry udon, there's curry sukumen. Uh, I've done curry soba before. Normally, when I do with I do with my soba, before I found out that draining it and dipping it into... Not broth, but a sauce, I guess, was really, really good. What I, what I used to do with... Uh, with soba is like just mix it with anything i mean mix curry with instant noodles like yeah already in made instant noodles mix curry in there it makes it really really nice at least that's what i do sometimes when i run out of rice and it's like oh wait i have this really thick saucy dish stew that would go really, really well with rice, but I am too lazy to make rice in the morning, so I just grab like instant noodles from the from the pantry and mix that with, let's say, curry uh, for lunch that day. It works really, really well. The only th the only time I don't uh, recommend mixing food with well, I don't yeah I don't the only time I don't recommend mixing stuff with instant ramen. Other than desserts, but there are some places you can do that. Um, is like a clear soup, I guess. Like sometimes I uh, have like a clear chicken soup or clear sour soup. And that doesn't seem to work. I mean, it's probably, it probably works okay. But I don't think it works that well with ramen. I need something thick. Something thick like a menudo or curry or... Yeah, just, just something thick. Stir fry into ramen also. Really, really good. Really, really good. Uh, but yeah. I I think today is going to be a frozen pizza day. Or maybe I should save it for next week. I don't know. It's a little bit up in the air. I should really only eat the frozen pizza once a week. Because I still have food in the fridge. And I probably shouldn't be eating 
unhealthily when I'm trying to like exercise and stuff like that. But I did yesterday, and that's totally on me. Um, if I, yeah, jeez, I'm, I'm just, I, and I mean, I'm also like next this week, I guess technically this week, technically this week, I don't have to cook at all because apparently it's um some sort of celebration week at work, so they're gonna be catering food every single day, and it's like, yeah, free food. All I have to do is bring empty containers and put the leftovers in the empty containers, take it home, and that's going to be my meal for basically the entire day, uh, entire uh, week. Free food is always good. I'm not sure if, I'm not sure as a kid you realize just how good free food is, but as an adult, and I hate to say that that as, <laughs> as someone who is, a, who is an adult, um, free food is all, is all, always appreciated because that means several things one it's free obviously two um you don't have to cook and depending on what the free food is you don't have to cook for a few days so yeah plenty plenty of things to do with that and i guess three three depending on what the free food is uh you can mix it with some stuff at home mix it with rice mix it with ramen and it just works picky so i often gave it to someone else if i don't feel like eating it it depends i mean I i'm not indiscriminate when i grab the free food like let's say they serve pizza for for that day now depending on the pizza it's either a good pizza or it's a bad pizza there are pizzas where it's so heavy I would not want to bring it back home just because it's like gonna knock me out for several hours or it's too bready I've had pizzas like those before um, but let's say it's a really really good pizza or um, for tacos sometimes sometimes they would like cater tacos for that day or like or like uh, burritos now Typically, when you do the burrito or taco catering, it's not the whole taco, it's not the whole burrito. You kind of build it yourself kind of thing. So what ends up happening is there's a lot of, um, like, there's a lot of leftover ingredients, right? So sometimes there's, left, there's a lot of leftover chicken, a lot of leftover onions, a lot of leftover cheese and such. So what I would do is pick out the ingredients I want, like onions and chicken. Chicken usually goes out really, really fast, um, even before the leftovers, leftover uh, portion comes. But ingredients like onions, really, really nice to, to have. Just take a lot home, pack it in Ziploc bags and put it in the freezer and you have un like chopped up onions for whatever you need to use it for later. It's great. It's great. Also, sometimes it's a thing. It's more of a thing over here where people soak or dip um, biscuits in gravy. And when I say biscuits, I'm not talking about like the cookie kind of biscuits like you would consider in other countries. When we say biscuits here in the US, we tend to mean it kind of looks like an English muffin, but it is typically more oily ice i think i'm not sure how how a bit there's, there's no buttery typically buttery or sometimes lard which is where the oil comes from which is also really bad but uh anyway typically sometimes uh in, in around here it's like biscuits are soaked or dipped in gravy yeah it's a spongy looking thing the spongy looking thing English muffin is like 100% baked and like super thin and you can spread jam and stuff on it. You can do the same thing with biscuits. And so a lot of times in fried chicken places around here, biscuits come with the fried chicken. Not because you eat the biscuits with fried chicken, though you can. I think a lot, of, I think it's a southern thing. Most, most people just have it on the side or dip it. Um, I prefer the biscuits where it is like 
not like a, has a little bit of a honey crust to it. Those are the good ones, and those are typically closer to baked than you know, fried and 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 oiled or or whatnot. Those are nice. Hey, dark, how you doing today? Made music. Pretty sure you cannot get copyrights there. Ah, that one. I've heard. I've heard of that website. I've played around with it actually a little bit. Um, results are very hit or miss. Very hit or miss, and I'm not quite sure how to how to wrangle with the uh with the program yet i know i know for one though um it, it it's a mismatch of results uh but it's kind of like if you want something really really tailored you're gonna have to like actually ask a an actual musician to get you something which which is uh, yeah, it, it it's fine if you want like something specially tailored and uh, you're not like using it for, I guess, free stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I have played around with it a little bit. I haven't got anything good from it. It's it's tough. It's tough. I do feel like if you like, uh, would I like to listen to? I don't know. I don't think I can accept links in the chat. So. As much as I would like to uh, check it out, I don't see a way to do it right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. YouTube did used to have like uh, private messages and stuff like that, but oh well. If you drop a name, maybe I can search it by name later. But anyway, back to the the whole biscuit thing. Back to the whole biscuit thing. Um, yeah, I kind of like the ones with the the honey crusty thing uh, on top. And that is, that's actually really nice. That's really nice. And those, I don't tend to put gravy with those. Speaking of the gravy, sometimes there's like gigantic tubs of gravy for some reason that accompany the the, the catered biscuits. And it's kind of like, why is there so much gravy? No one uses this much. And you usually have an entire other tub or container still uh remaining so sometimes a lot that i mean a lot of times people don't touch it because it's like they don't know what to do with it i on the other hand will take it home and use it as a sauce for udon or soba or even just rice i mean i don't know if you know this in the philippines uh the chicken comes with gravy i mean chicken comes with gravy over here too but anyway in the Philippines, uh, chicken comes with gravy, but people don't use the gravy for the chicken. People use the gravy for the rice. You dip it in the rice, you pour the gravy over the rice, and mix it all together. So it's like really, really nice. Community post. Oh, okay. I guess I guess I can check that later. Okay. I'm not gonna check it right now, uh, but I'll, I'll I'll check it out later. Avoid anything that remote remotely looks like bread. I mean, you did mention that you didn't like bread. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm just I'm just mainly curious. Uh, I mean, there's some good bread. Like, sweet breads are pretty good. I tend to like sweet breads more uh, than... There, I mean, the type of bread I don't like is the, the European bread, where it's, like, super tough and dry. But... A lot of people in Europe seem to like that kind of bread. I don't know. I don't think they eat it by themselves. I think it's typically like eaten with a jam or dipped in coffee or drank with coffee. But to me, it's like super chewy and really, really hard to tear. They've they they have some uh, European style breads in Japan. Like the the, the bakeries are heavily heavily. French, like influenced by French, uh, French style baking and stuff like that. And there's a few, there's a few bakeries that I've gone to where I tried the bread thinking it was going to be like this really soft Asian style bread, which they do have. And I get like something that looks like a baguette, like a, a mini baguette. And I bite into it and holy crap, 
my teeth cannot even penetrate the the skin of that bread. It's almost like leather. I do not understand how it's possible. It wasn't stale. Because if it's stale, it would be like crusty, right? It will be crusty and falls apart really easily. But it is just really tough, chewy bread. And I did not know what to do with it. I think I basically wrangled that bread uh, like a shark to tear it to pieces. And no, not a shark, an alligator, I, like to tear it to pieces. And it was even tough with that. I didn't have any hot drink with me at the time. Um, so I had an even harder time trying to eat that thing. And the bread was just bread. There wasn't any like jam or anything um, with it, which I think is how it was supposed to be eaten. I much prefer the, the Asian style breads or like a curry bread or a sweet bread or Japan has a very huge obsession with bread and I do too. And I appreciate the the bakeries over there because around here we don't have bakeries like they do in Japan. Here if we have if you have a bakery it's very rare. It's very rare. You can get you can get like a regular European style bakery like a French bakery or a German bakery. There was a couple I've seen before. Um, but typically bakeries are attached to coffee shops and it's not really a bakery. It's more like a Danish and muffin dispenser with some cookies in there. And that's perfectly fine and all, but I want actual bread. I want actual bread. Back when it, back then it would instantly mess with my stomach, but nowadays it's more that I don't like the taste and would let it expire even before remembering I bought them. Ah, uh, I'm not sure if you have a gluten allergy, but that's kind of sounds like you might have a, a little bit of a gluten allergy because a lot of breads do have that. You could get something mochi esque, and I think that would be easier in the stomach, especially if it is actually just made out of mochi. Some sweet or some salt and some soft. Yeah, I think. The, the, the bread I don't like personally is a really tough one. It's just because you need something else with it. And sometimes you just want to eat the bread by itself. Bread and sweets in Japan? Uh, I don't think you should be afraid of it. But like I said, I feel like you might have a slight gluten allergy. So that might not be such a good thing. Let me show. Let me see if I can find a picture of bread. I have like a lot of... Uh, bakery pictures in Japan and I'm kind of like it's kind of it's kind of all over the place so I need to find it uh, bread where is my bread picture because I want to show you what some of these breads look like and nope that's a donut this is not from Japan but uh, you probably seen something similar to these these are kind of like uh, the Chinese style breads, and I absolutely love these kind of things, like this, like this ones. You're okay with donuts, but you're not okay with bread. Interesting. So it might not be a gluten thing, and you just your body just rejects uh, whatever is in bread. I don't know, but I kind of like the I kind of like these kinds of breads. Uh, Tula Jour is like one of the the bread uh, chains around here. It's more like a Korean French thing. I haven't seen one around this area and I miss it sorely. Yeah, sausages and stuff. There also, there's also this, which is like sometimes filled with cream and cheese. This one is like a, I'm not sure if you can read it. Honey cheese mochi pancake, which may not have a filling in it. Blueberry cream cheese bread. That one's actually really good. Chula Joy in general around here. Probably one of the be better uh, chain bakeries that you will find. I think, I, I guess it's the only chain bakery I know. Because any other chain shops is either like donuts. And you got Dunkin' Donut and Krispy Kreme as far as, as, far as two biggest chains. And then you have the, the local chains. In Texas, it was Shipley's. Uh, around this area, I have no idea. I'm trying to look for specifically the, the Japanese. The Japanese breads that I saw, and for some reason, I cannot find any. 
Why can I not find any? Oh, I do. Oh, here's one. Here's one. Here's some of the more interesting ones I saw in Japan. Let's see. It's this one. So, from... From top row to bottom row, left to right. Uh, top left? I have no idea what it is. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. It's, it, it might be like some sort of cheese or milk bread. I, I I do not know. The middle one's interesting, though. That's like a fig bread. It kind of looks like a fig, too. It's like super sweet. Super sweet, super dense. You really need something to drink with it. I think the one on uh, next to it is like a donut. And then you got the curry bread in the, at the bottom. And I think it's just a regular cheese bread at the middle. And, of course, you got the hot dog croissant. Hot dog croissant is... Okay. It's okay. Croissant gets tough to, uh, the more you eat it. It depends. There's like really flaky croissants and there are really springy croissants. I don't know if that's the right word, but uh, where you kind of like bite into it and it just kind of resists a little bit. I don't know. Um, ooh, these are, the, oh, these are the good ones. Hold up. I found, I found some good ones. I found some good ones. These are, these are like top tier breads over here. Here is part one, top tier bread. The, the very melty cheese dough, cheese uh, bread. Uh, the very good looking hot dog. The very good looking blueberry tart. I guess that's not a bread, but still it's, it was in the bakery, so it, it may as well be bread. Um, and then we have on this other side, on this other side, even more cheese and ham and cheese. They, they like using a lot of cheese in the, in the breakfast breads. These are breakfast breads, by the way. I would say, well, I mean, I guess you can get them all day, but generally these are breakfast breads. The, the entire spread all together. And there's even much more than this, and it's like amazing. Absolutely amazing. I, I I definitely had um I, I definitely made some bad decisions when when I went to the the bakeries. Uh, there was one weird there was one weird bread um, that I saw this last trip. Let me see if I can find it. It's I mean it's not really I guess, I guess it is bread. Uh, it's basically a croissant and this shop in particular is only known for their croissant because that's all they freaking make that is all they make and this particular shop was in fukuoka fukuoka is in the south of japan very famously known for their mentaiko and the mentaiko is spicy kadro which is pretty nice. Um, also, at the time, they had a special for sweet potato. Okay, there's a really bad picture. You have to zoom in a lot. Uh, sweet potato was a flavor around that time because it was like fall, and sweet potato is like one of the fall flavors. Um, and would highly... Highly recommend trying to give that a try. Sweet potato desserts in general around that time, if you're in there, is pretty good. You can't really see them in Taiko very much in the picture because the, the color is a bit weird. Uh, but you can kind of see like this orangish thing on top of the croissant, which is part of the Mentaiko. I think there might be some Mentaiko spread inside the croissant itself. Um, but that's not the weird one I saw. That's not the weird one I saw. The, the weird one I saw, which didn't make any sense to me, I didn't buy one to try, is... Is this the right picture? Is this the right picture? That is not the right picture. Oh, it's this one. It's this one.
This is the the weirdest bread I have seen from that same shop. Rice bread. Not bread made out of rice, but rice in the bread. And this sign is like the most I guess like why? <laughs> just just have rice why why put rice in in bread you do know there are bread sandwiches in in china right the the little long uh donut fried donut thing and i think they put that between some sort of other carbs but to me it's like for this one in particular What's so special about the rice that you have to put it in the croissant? I do not understand. I never tried it. I never tried it. I got the sweet potato one and I got them in Taiko. Both were pretty good. I like the sweet potato more. Yeah. It's 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 wild. Oh here's a here's a better picture of the Mentaiko one. Here's a better picture of the Mentaiko one. Not in the not in the not in the glass. You see that the the pinkish thing outside? Those are little little uh, eggs, I guess. It didn't taste spicy at all. I don't know why they call it spicy cadro. It doesn't taste spicy. Maybe there's like little pockets of spice, but I can barely taste it. I can barely taste it. The better bakeries, though, the better bakeries are places that kind of have stuff like, like this. If I can get the, I got like pictures all over my desktop now because I'm like trying to drag and drop and I can't just drag and drop in, in uh, OBS. I wish, I wish they'd let me do that. I wish they let me do that. One of the better, the, one of the better uh, bake bakeries are have stuff like this. I know, I know, individually wrapped donuts. Why would you do this? But the thing is, donuts aren't the same in in Japan as it is in the U.S. I think you can get like a six a six box of Dunkin'. You you can probably still get that, and I don't think they have Dunkin' in Japan. They have uh, Mr. Donut which is basically Dunkin' anyway, but for some reason it's Mr. Donut over there. It's easy on the road, and people don't tend to buy more than one donut at a time. These are also cake donuts, which are my favorite type of donuts. Like, a lot of, a lot of times donuts with glaze are pretty good anyway, uh, but sometimes around here they put too much glaze, or the glaze becomes too crusty, as the day goes because some people because you don't get to them that quickly so it's like eh. I, I've it's um yeah it's it's a shame but cake donuts hold up a little bit better and I like it for that and also like it for the for the texture so those are nice also they uh, once in a while you'll see these you'll see these um, Fancy looking breads. I say fancy looking breads. Where it kind of looks like a pumpkin. You see that pumpkin there at the in the middle? That's actually a kabocha bread, I think. Yeah, it's a kabocha bread. Uh, basically pumpkin bread. And I think there's a sweet potato bread right next to it, the, the one on the left. And the melon pan to the right. And they're all really, really good. These are all the dessert breads, and I want every single one of them, and I want, like, a gigantic basket full of it. I would buy out the entire store if I could, but I would have to eat it all also, so I probably shouldn't. Melon pun is... I don't... Well, maybe a lot of sugar compared to most other Asian desserts. I didn't think it was that sweet, to be honest. Uh, the the cookie crust on top, though, does fall apart very easily depending on who makes it. So keep an eye on that and just keep just just remember it could make a mess. 
Uh, other than that, actually, like a lot of sugar, not entirely sure. My sensitivity to sugar isn't really that strong, but I do appreciate the the low sugar content in Asia in general uh, compared to the U.S. Because in the U.S., it's like super high, and it gives me a stomach ache. So, yeah. That's that's not usually good. I can, I can eat a whole lot of more desserts in Japan and not get a stomach ache if that says anything. I'm not sure. I'm not sure because it's because of the amount of sugar, or if it's because of. It could be just the amount of sugar. To be honest, they don't use as much. It's like just enough, and I appreciate that. Even the ones that look like it's crusted in sugar. I'm not, my stomach's not bothered by that. Meanwhile, over here, I eat one Kit Kat bar and 20 minutes later, I'm in the toilet. It's, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. Um, but sometimes, you know, it's hard to resist. It's hard to resist. Anyway, bakery adventures go in Japan. You said you Chofu. Where's Chofu again? Where's Chofu? Would recommend though. Would recommend Chofu is in Tokyo. Ah, Tokyo. Have you been to Japan before, Mars? Or would that be your first time? Definitely not for anime related reasons. I mean, there's other reasons to visit Japan. My first time visiting Japan was not for anime related reasons. Um, but yeah, I don't think any of, any of my visits were anime related. It was more like it was more like uh, for one reason or another. First time was like visiting a friend, and then any other time was just like going back to places I didn't spend as much time to. And then there's one trip I'm planning that where it's mostly just exploring the countryside and hiking everywhere, which would require me to quit my job and I'm and I wish I could do it soon but I'm slowly realizing I won't be able to do that just yet 20 2005 and 2006 in a tour oh if you went to back in 2005 and 2006 you are gonna see Japan probably very differently from when you did it then especially 20 years ago holy crap as a kid I mean, I know people bring their kids to to Japan. I've seen kids in strollers even, which I do not recommend having a baby while you're traveling in Japan um, or pushing a like a a baby carriage while you're in Japan. It's it's not that you can't do it. It's tougher if you do it. Even moms in Japan don't do that generally. So. Yeah, it's just FYI. If you do have to carry a baby in Japan, no strollers have the little sling. Uh, the the sling that goes around your body that seems to be the favorite for most people. Though the strollers do still exist. I guess if you have a really small baby and you don't want them to be squished, um, the, the, the baby carriage is probably better, actually. And they do have places in the... In the trains for uh, for moms and stuff like that. So yeah, mom told me I never complained about eating food there, despite me being a picky eater. Were you a picky eater before, or you, or was that a more recent thing? That that would explain uh, the hand cams. If you're a picky eater, I feel like that that's uh, that uh, that also explains. Um, why your diet is so is so terrible <laughs> sorry i'm just picking fun of you <laughs> i'm just picking fun of you anyway uh but yeah today we are gonna hopefully get some udon uh in sanuki sanuki by the way is all the way down here in shikoku kagawa we're still in kagawa prefecture i think kagawa prefecture is the only one in the Wagotabi beta right now. Uh, they haven't announced anything. But we started from who knows where, your home country. 
landed in not Takamatsu. I'm not sure where the airport would be, but it could be Takamatsu Airport. And then we went to Takamatsu City proper. Oh, you don't see the the thing I was showing. Oh crap! You don't see the uh the map. I have a map going and. Let me see. Would this be okay? There we go. Uh, so, this is Kagawa Prefecture. You cannot see my mouse. Let's try that again. Mouse capture. There we go. Now you will see the magic hand. Okay. Kagawa Prefecture. <laughs> Google exposed you immediately. You can see my Google icon to, on the upper right. I'm not hiding it. It is my favorite. It is one of my favorite pictures I've ever taken. Uh, but good luck actually finding that account. <laughs> good luck actually finding that account. If you do find it, if you do find it though, I think I have reviews under that account. So you can see all the stuff I've reviewed. Just FYI. I do not hide that fact. Ah, uh, Google Photos. Yeah, well, uh, just be careful about that. Be careful. But anyway, we're Takamatsu City, and then we're going to Sanuki. Definitely not walking distance. Um, I think there's right, roughly about a couple of miles, so maybe about 30 minutes or so. Let me see. How far is Takamatsu to Sanuki? 15 minutes by train. 30, about 22 minutes by car. Um, three hours by walking, and in the game, we walked, which is not recommended. <laughs> uh, so I don't know why we did that, but, eh, you know, I mean, realism goes out a little bit, but, um, we, we do have immersion in the game, so that's great. Sakai, Sakai Minato, uh, where is Sakai Minato? Let's take a look really quick before we actually go into the game. I know I've been talking for about 40 minutes already, and that's kind of crazy. I never have done this before. Ah, Totori. I don't know anyone who's been to Totori, to be honest. What is even in Tot Why is even in Sakai Minato? Why would I go to Sakai Minato all the way out here in Totori? It just looks like a city Shigeru Mizuki Road Shigeru Mizuki Road Shigeru Mizuki Road I show Sakamatsumete Yeah, you're going to have to explain to me, uh, this to me some other time cuz I have no idea. The, this doesn't look uh like a place I would personally go. It does have a very interesting geography, though. I mean, you, you look at this, it's kind of like sticking out out of a Totori prefecture over here. And it's just basically a strip of land. It's basically just a strip of land um, sandwiched between the ocean and I guess a bay, but the bay it has like a I don't even know if you call this a river, but let's just call it a river going straight into the ocean it is a port city it is a very much a port city let me look at that it's right there it's right here the the thing that that got caught my eye though was not this specifically but this one dyson oki national park these are type of these are the types of places i like to explore in japan the wilderness uh the the really remote countrysides where no one goes to this is the kind of place i like going to and these are the kind of places i am planning to explore oh an usagi a jap uh what is this what kind of thing i think it's just a statue i think that's just a statue but this is like the really interesting places that no one goes to and people should local tourists would but um the what do you call this visitors outside visitors don't i mean i can i get it i get it it's out basically out in the middle of nowhere i mean if you see where tokyo is tokyo is all the way over here and then dyson national parks over here you re you would really have to like intentionally go here for this specific reason 
and you have to be a special kind of um, overseas visitor to come over here for that specific reason. Like, I went all the way from Tokyo all the way down to where the heck is Yakushima? Yakushima is all the way down here. I went here, okay? Basically, out in the middle of nowhere to to hike. And it was like one of the best places I've ever been to. And I want to go there again because I didn't meet my goal. This is the this is the place where uh, Princess Mononoke was based off. At least the forest around here. The forest around here. You can kind of you can kind of see it in some of these pictures. Um, it is super out there in the middle of nowhere, but it is nice uh a nice retreat from basically all the what do you call this all the hustle and bustle of the mainland and such but it doesn't take long to get here at all i think it took like a total of about three hours like a, a total of about three hours you go from tokyo to fukuoka around here in kyushu no not fukuoka you can go to Fukuoka, but then you would have to still go to Kagoshima. And from Kagoshima, I think we went from Tokyo to Kagoshima, which about, was about an hour and a half. And then from Kagoshima, which is an interesting place itself, I need to visit that more thoroughly, to Yakushima, which is less than 30 minutes. But it's either fly or take a ferry. Ferry would be interesting, but a little short on time, flying was probably the better option. But anyway, uh, we're going to be going to Kagawa Prefecture. So if you were to go to Kagawa Prefecture, there's a couple of ways to do it. You go from Tokyo and take the train all the way down to Okayama. And I think you can go from Okayama to maybe around Takamatsu on the train. However, or maybe Kobe down to Naruto and then to Tak Takamatsu. I'm not exactly sure what the route would be. But... Let's see, what would the route be? I'm kind of curious. Takamatsu, directions from Tokyo. Let's say Tokyo proper, Tokyo station. Four and a half hours, that's a lot less than I thought. Okay, so you don't go past, you don't go past this uh, islet over here. You actually do go through Okuyama like I thought you would. And then uh, take a train to Takamatsu itself so you can do that you can also drive but driving apparently takes twice as long as a train uh, because for the most part you'll be taking the Shinkansen from Tokyo all the way down to Okayama which cuts down your trip time quite a bit over long distances or you can fly or you can fly for about one hour and get there pretty pretty quickly anything over four hours um like if you if you uh fly or drive or no, if you fl if you drive or take a train and it takes at least four hours it's probably better to fly at that point probably be better to fly and that's just one hour 15 minutes flight time by the way if you take into account the the checking in, getting to the airport, and waiting for the airplane, I think that's like roughly two hours, two and a half hours total. So if you if you add in flying to that, it's about three to almost four hours at that point. May as well just fly, to be honest. And the, at the airport, you can relax a little bit. In the train, you can also relax, but you can't move as much. Though you do get the nice scenery uh, from the from the uh, from the windows. Well, driving, you better make sure you're the passenger. Otherwise, uh, uh, you know, driving kind of sucks. But as a driver, sometimes you do see some nice stuff uh, going along the way because you can stop more places. But if you're in a hurry, flying. As long as the tr as as long as the the trip, it's the driving train trip or train trip is at least four hours. Anything less than four hours, probably not worth it. Just use whatever your initial method was. That'll be better. 
Anyway, let's actually get to the game itself. I, I can talk about Japan for ages. <laughs> I can talk about Japan for ages, but we need to do the, the stream today. Uh, and that's going to extend our stream by at least two more hours. So just FYI, let's go ahead and switch scenes really quick. Where is this? There we go. Touch to resume. So last time on Wangotabi, I don't, I don't call it my nerdy moment. I, I call it my obsession. Last time on Wagatabi, uh, we went through Takamatsu City, which is just right next door. And I think I need to increase the volume just a little bit. So Takamatsu City over here, very, very small town as far as the game is concerned. And I think around here we learned some... We found the train station. Can't use the train station. Uh, and we got directed to going over to Sanuki to find an udon chef to help us find someone, grandmaster kind of thing, kind of place. Let's do some Japanese reviews first. I haven't done any smart tests in this game um, since last time. And I typically haven't been touching these just because I, it, I think it'd be better if it was actually on my phone, but it's not on my phone, so... What is this thing? It is a table. 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 Select the word that corresponds to the image. Basu. We have basu. We have hon, which is book. Table. Konbini. Oh, that's not konbini at all. Basu. Basu. Good evening. Uh, Tanaka-san. Konbanwa. 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 Wait, that's not konbanwa. I, I, I cannot read. <laughs> I cannot read. My book is at home. Uh, watashi no watashi. Watashi. Watashi no hon. Hon. Uh, ga. Ka. No, that's ga. Uh, wa. Wa. Uh, ka. Ie. Ie ni, ni arimasu. Arimasu. There we go. Watashi no hon wa ie ni arimasu. There we go. Ho, uh, inu, inu. I. I. Nu. Nu. Inu. Tanaka-san no hon desu. Hon. Uh, I think we're missing hon here. Ma. Nope. O. U. Hon. 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 Uh, let's see what else we got. I look forward to good relationships with you. I look forward to support you. For your support. Uh, yoroshiku and onegaishimasu. Yoroshiko is such a difficult thing to translate, but I guess it's like, please take care of me kind of thing, right? Please take care of me. Yoroshiko As in, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm in your care from for a while kind of thing. Yeah, in, in general, when you're speaking and with people, you, you don't say watashi, boku, ore, unless... Uh, you are emphasizing something about yourself. It's I think it's just in general in the Western world we're so used to using pronouns um, in everything, whether it be yourself or someone else. Mainly yourself in in most cases that we forget that it's not all about us, and I feel like. Yeah. In, in Japanese, at least, it kind of forces you to not say it as much. Though I, I get it in English, it's more like it's there for clarification as well as emphasis. But a lot of times people just use it for emphasis without the actual clarification. Oh. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's more of a cultural thing, though. Neko. Neko. Cat. Uh, watash, uh, ni, wait. Nihon ni udon. Uh, Nihon ni udon, uh, wo? Is it wo? There are udon in Japan. Nihon ni udon, ga? Ga. Okay, I think particles are confused me, confused the heck out of me. The only particle I know is wa. 
no and maybe ga but sometimes ga and wa can be interchanged and most and i guess it wouldn't be weird unless in some situation wo is the one i'm least familiar with ni i'm trying to get better at that pronouns in chinese is easier unless until you have to write it down in what sense konbanwa konban konban konbanwa konbanwa there we go toshokan toshokan uh to ji that is not right show si o so to show ka uh ka do ka mm. There we go. Toshokan. Toshokan. I wish they had like a separate thing where it's like the just a dakuten, the sho and the lowercase yo by itself. But um, I think I understand why they're doing it this way to force you to look at it and like actually. Why is my mouse not showing up? Oh, because it's, this particular one doesn't have the mouse capture. Okay, now you will see the mouse. I, I think I can understand why they don't have it together. And you have to like type it in separately. So you know it makes this kind of sound. Slightly different writing to describe a gender, I believe. I see. Oh, I took a hit my konbanwa because I couldn't read the darn thing. Or at least didn't try to read the darn thing. There's a f apparently more four more smart tests. We'll try to we'll probably do some of these as we go. Uh, I don't want to take too much time at the front here because I took 40 minutes already <laughs> to to talk about random Japan stuff. All right, so I guess that should go around. What what's going on here? Sanuki, an azure sea, white sand beaches, and pine trees. White sand beaches and pine trees. Okay, a little English note. Not a Japanese note, an English note. The way this is written, an azure sea, white sand beaches and pine trees. I am so used to using that Oxford co comma. Oxford comma uh, dictates that you use a comma after every single thing you want to separate in a sentence when used with a conjunction like and but or in this case and so i would be like as or see comma white sand beaches comma and pine trees unless white sand beaches and pine trees are somehow related together and then you would put a comma right after that oxford comma matters in a lot of situations but a lot of people seem to omit this a lot of people seem to omit the Oxford comma, and I don't know if that is partly laziness, or they don't know to use it, or in general, um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure why, but I'm, I've always been taught use a comma after every single thing here, because it clarifies what the heck, what you are trying to say. If you don't do it, and you get into, let's say, a court case or something, um, really technical. That comma makes a huge difference for clarification. And court cases have been lost over an Oxford comma. FYI. Okay, what's over here? Uh, Konbanはなかたです。あ、なかたさん、はじめまして。日本のお茶を飲みますか。He uh, is drinking. Uh, Tea, Japanese tea. Japanese green tea is a little bitter if you're not used to it. Uh, what is it? Sano, Sano san no hon. Sano san no hon? Sano san no hon desu ka? Ah, hi, hi. Arigatou gozaimasu. I guess we gave him a, a book. From Sano's? From Sano. Who is Sano? All in the bus station? I forgot what went on story-wise. <laughs> and he just puts the book right next to the book, the bed. 
Would you please thank Sano for me? Sure. I don't know where they are though. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Neko. Book. Hon. Nakata san no hon desu. Nakata san no hon. Wait, it's not your book? Are you Nakata? Arigato gozaimasu. Oh, no, you're Nakata. Okay. I was thinking you might have a lesson for me, but you don't. Okay, well then. Uh, what's up to this guy? He's basically Snorlax. <laughs> uh, Yoshi Yoshida. Yoshida san. Z Z Z. Udon. Tabemas. Udon. He says he's eating udon, but I think he wants to say tabetai. I would say tabetai when I'm sleeping like this on the roadside. I want to eat udon something. He is eating udon. Udon wo tabemasu. If he said udon wo tabetai, I think that means I want to eat udon, but that's not what he's saying. So what are you saying? What do you mean? <laughs> he is eating udon. In his dreams, but he doesn't want to eat udon, which is kind of weird. Konbanwa, Sanuki ni imas. Ah, Sanuki ni imas. We are in Sanuki. Sanuki udon wa asoko no iye ni arimas. Ah, so we're saying, ah, mo ikai. Sanuki udon wa asoko no iye ni arimas. Sanuki udon, ah, asoko over there in that house. Ni arimas. There is Sanuki udon at the house over there. Okay. Why specifically? Hajime mashite. Ono desu. Ono. I don't think I've ever. Heard... No, there is Ono. I Ono is such a rare name, though. What is the difference between Tabe and Kui? Aren't they the same thing? I think ka Kui is just. More crude, right? A crude way of saying eat? Sanuki is a town of mystery. Oh, it very much is. Suki. Suki. This threw me off. This kanji threw me off when I, I got to it. Because a lot of times when I read things, I'm just used to seeing this in hiragana. But Suki, woman, child, is a is love. I don't know what that says, but love or like. But a lot of people like to translate as love, so there's that too. Uh, koko no udon ga suki desu. I like the udon here. Koko no udon ga suki desu. Uh, non-past suki des non-negative ne non non-past suki deha arimasen. I think we need a, a ja Japanese native in here to explain the difference between kui and tabe. I think tabe seems... I think kui just might be more informal. I don't know. It feels more informal, but I don't know why. Uh, Suki. Su. Key, where's key? Key. Okay, the one thing I have to, like, remember with Suki is not to use the other Su, which is, which has a different, uh, technically a pro different pronunciation. And if you use that, I think it would technically mean moon. So I, I have to remember not to do that because sometimes I lisp into saying suki instead of suki. Uh, I like the udon here. Koko no, no. udon. Udon. Here. The uh the udon here. This here udon. Here's udon. Koko no udon wo o. suki des. Suki des. No? Koko no, no. udon. Udon. S uh Ga? Ga? Suki desu? 
好きです。You specifically ここのうどんが好きです。I guess wo would be incorrect technically. ここのうどんが好きです。I like the udon specifically. We are not liking the udon itself. I think? おいしい。おいしい。Which apparently also has a kanji, but you can also see it like this. おのし。What's おのし ?What is おのし ?おいしい。Either written as this or as a kanji. I, did, I think I see the kanji less, but it, it, it is possible. It is possible. Oishi. O i shi i. Gotta elongate that shi. Hana. Hana. Orushi is new. Onushi is new. Who says that? Hana. Um.、Uh, Kanji wise, I don't know. Like, like I said, I don't know if they'll ever go into radicals in, in this、uh, particular game. But if you don't go into radicals, you can see this bottom part over here.、Uh, it I think it technically means change or something.、Uh, or, yeah, it might. I think it, the bottom part is like a radical for change. And the top part is flowers, I think. But if you put them together, it kind of looks like flowers on stems, though it's a little bit more broken. But Hana. Hana. Very old people. Got you. Hana. Hana. Ocha. Ocha. Learn this word. I mean, I guess Ocha is, is similar in a lot of places. In the Philippines, it's just called Cha. Cha or cha.、Um, in Japan, ocha or cha also. I think cha is also the same in China and the rest of Southeast Asia. I feel like it is. It might be a Chinese influence, I don't know. Ocha. O. Cha. Where's cha? Cha? Chi. No, that's wrong.、Uh, oh, yeah. Chi. Chi. Cha. Cha. ちっちゃちゃおいしいおいしいデリシャス花お茶コーヒーコーヒーコーヒー has no kanji コーヒー has no historical significance in Asia until it was brought in well technically coffee is from Asia because it came from Uh, the Middle East. I think that's where the coffee beans come from. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not too certain. But in China and Southeast Asia and Japan, coffee wasn't a thing. So you I guess they didn't have a word for it. Or maybe it did. I don't know. But coffee stuck. Coffee stuck. Coffee. I need, a, I need an entomology for coffee. For kohi here. Kohi. He. Just、Manga. elongate that though. Manga. 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 I think a lot of people know this one. Ma. Ga. Manga. Manhua. What the, what's the Chinese equivalent for manga? I just know manhua and man manga, and I didn't realize what man manhua was until like several years ago when a lot of、um, webtoons was, what, what was like starting to be translated. Manhua? So, very similar to what it is in Korea, except in Japanese, it's more, it's, you get the ga instead of the wa. I see, I see, I see. Kohi. Kohi. Danmei outbreak. Which was, which was Danmei?、Uh, was it. Yeah, what's, it, what's Danmei? The only. I'm thinking solo leveling, but I'm not entirely sure if that was the one that、Manga. you're talking about. 
Sanoki is the historic name of Kagawa Prefecture. Oh! But why is this... Oh, so Sanuki is just a town itself now. The town, now named Sanuki, was established in 2002. Oh. That's, um... That's super recent. That's actually super recent. Why did it change to... Kagawa? Kagawa. Gawa is river. What's Ka then? There are so many changes throughout history, but names remain. Interesting. Oh no, it's Paul! How'd you get here to Sanuki? Oh wait, you were supposed you were this is where you wanted to be. Never mind. It's great to see you again. Thanks again for your help at the bus station. It really inspired me to learn Japanese. Are you better now? Konbanwa. Konbanwa! Uh, technically, it's um, morning where I'm at right now. It is 11 a.m. But for people uh, coming in from Asia, it would be um, nighttime. Konbawa. Sanuki udon wo tabemasu ka? Uh, sanuki udon wo tabemasu ka? Oh, Nihongo Jozu. He got quick. He got good really quick. Oishi desu. Hi, oishi. Sugoku oishi. I guess that's what he says. Konbanwa. Incense according to Google Translate. In ha. Huh. I wonder why. Hoko desu. Hoko? Your name is Hoko? What kind of name is Hoko? Ohayo uh Matane Konbanwa. Oh, pick the correct reading here. Konbanwa. Konbanwa. Udon ga suki desu ka? Ah. Do I do I, do I like udon? Hi. Uh, I guess there's no hi. Udon. Udon. Ga. Ga. Suki desu. Suki desu. Suki desu. Oishii desu. Oishii, hi. Hidari. Hidari. You're gonna hear this a lot on the train stations. Though they follow it up with English, so you might not um, be lost that easily. But if you're looking for, asking for directions, you're gonna hear this a lot. Go take a left, go take a right. Hidari, Migi. And the kanji for left and right is so interesting? Because it doesn't really indicate left or right. Like off the bat, like up and down. Very easy to differentiate, but left and right doesn't really doesn't really uh ring a bell. Hidari! You have this uh thing on top. That's going to be shared with right, but the thing on the bottom is what you got to watch out for when you do left or right. Left has an I. Not really, but he, if you think of, uh, yeah, left has an I, but it doesn't really. <laughs> I'm already giving bad lessons. So... He, he, da, da, uh, ri. Ri. Migi. Migi has a box. Or I guess in this case a mouth. Which why? Why actually? I guess if you think about it a little bit, though it may not make sense here. Um Megi. Most people are right-handed, and so they feed themselves with a right hand. I guess. So mouth, right hand, you're feeding yourself. Unless you're left-handed. Sorry, left-handed people, I don't I can't help you there. I can't help you there, but uh, most people are right-handed, so yeah. Also, Zen and Goro. Deru? No, Goro. Goro? With well, the the first kanji, my ma, ma, oh Ushiro, sorry. Ushiro. Ma I, ma e and ma e by itself. Zen, uh, if you put it with something else. But yeah, Mae and Ushiro. Mae is in front, and Ushiro is behind. I have to remember that. Uh, let's see. This is Migi. Migi. Mi. Ki. Ki. Mae. Ma. Oh, wow. They actually cover. We're actually covering front and back also. Mae in front. Uh, kanji makes absolutely no sense. Don't worry about it. Just remember it. <laughs> Just remember the kanji. My in front. So whenever you hear something, uh, you'll you'll hear you'll see this a lot in bus stations and 
uh, some train stops, you'll hear ekimae, something something ekimae. Like Tokyo ekimae, or on a bus stop it'd be like something something ekimae, uh, something something mae, or Gucci. Gucci would be like an entrance or an exit, basically like that sort of thing. Mae is like in front of, in front of. Ekimai in front of the station, but which specific station? Tokyo station. Tokyo Ekimai in front of Tokyo station. In the sentences case is Neko no uh, Watashi no Neko wa uh, ka no mae ni imas. Uh, I guess in this, I mean sometimes no is take is like dropped. You can probably just say EMI. No, probably that sounds wrong. Ie no mai probably is more correct. I don't know. Mae. Mae. Ushiro. Ushiro behind. Uh, kanji makes absolutely no absolutely no sense. Just just deal with it. <laughs> just deal with it. Also, did you know that the, the kanji for behind can also mean in front? I don't know. It it's it's weird. Ushiro. 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 Okay. Well, to me it means in front because okay. Because you 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 see this this kanji for in Ushiro in um in what do you call this? For afternoon, gogo. Right? Go as in noon and go as in before, but it's not before noon, it's afternoon. So go go is in the afternoon. I guess depending on which way you're looking, it's either in front of noon or behind noon. Is it behind noon or is it in front of noon? You tell me, I'm confused. <laughs> and I'm confusing you, which I shouldn't be doing. Sorry, back to the lesson. Uh, ushiro behind. Ushiro. Mae in front. Mae. Uh, Migi. Migi to the right. Hidari. Wow, this Hidari. is the easiest thing. E. Uh, more recognize uh, the kanji for ato as an ato de. After. Yeah. It, it's used there a lot. And I guess most people... Mm, I guess noon would be hiro. Hiru. Go, by, you also hear gogo a lot for the afternoon. and not, So, I guess... Yeah, just uh, keep that in mind. But yeah, ato de ha happens in manga more more so because they explain things a lot. Particle that indicates a place toward where someone moves. So we have ni. So we have ni. Uh, I guess I'll I'll start typing stuff to, for explanations. Okay, so we have. Why does my kana thing not work? Ah, there we go. So we have ni, which uh, which can mean it is like I think uh, particle for going to. I guess no. Wait, ni. He is placed toward where someone moves. The dog goes to the right. Okay, let's just clear this up. He. He. Going. Uh, a moving, moving thing. Particle that indicates place where someone moves. Uh. Something moving to. So ni would be what's ni? This, this is where I'm with this is where I get confused personally. Ni is I guess. So you can how how do you say ni again? What do, what do you use ni for? Ni imas existing in the place do i do they explain that or am i just like confusing things I, i'm gonna take this off if i can't explain i probably shouldn't explain it 
Bashohe. Bashohe. We're gonna have to look at notes. So ni and he. Dog goes to the right. So inu. Inu. Wa. Um. Migi he. Ikimas. Ikimas. Inu wa marugame. Marugame the town. Marugame. It's just a town name. Bu. Ka. Ga. Ga. Me. Hidari no ie ni udon ga arimasu. The house to the left has udon. Hidari no ie, the house to the left, has udon. Okay, let's look our notes for ni and and uh, he really quick. I like that they have filters here, because this thing is going to get messy really, really quickly. Do they have anything on proper nouns? Particles. There we go. So particles, ni, that is used to mark a destination if followed by action verb or a location if followed by a state verb. Used to mark a destination or a location. However, you also have he, a particle that indicates a place towards where someone moves. I guess in this case, the, the moving is already happening. That's how I'm that's how I'm understanding this, but I'm not entirely sure if that's what it means. So when you say he, the moving the moving is happening, but when you say ni, that is where they are going or that's where they are. Honestly, you see I, I feel like you see ni more unless uh something is happening at the time, so you see he less. That might be it. I, that's what that's what I understand it as. Like I said, grammar is like my my worst enemy, and Japanese particles when you're talking in in real time doesn't happen that often. There's the ha and the ga, but the he and the ni, um, kind of special, not special, but more like I don't hear it a lot. I don't hear it a lot, but I think I'm gonna have to like. Keep an, uh, keep an ear out for whenever it does happen. He, going towards, actually going towards. Ni, going to, but not moving yet. Or you are already there. In, at, on, to. Okay. But he can also mean going to, or towards, I guess. Udon, the udon shop. There is Sanuki Udon here. Can I go in? Oh, I had to like oh wow, we had we had to like go around this guy just to get to the Udon. Oh, here's the bus. Basu. Basu, but we can't ride the bus, that's fine. Yirashaimase. We don't answer to Irashaimase in Japan. That's true. That's true. So, irashaimase, you're going to explain it to me, right? It's used to greet a customer. Yep. You don't generally uh, answer to that at all. I suddenly remember the sentence, Sa... Ko... Kochirai? Kochirai? Wait, did I say that right? Kochirai. I'm gonna have to get put the deep L on the side, just clarify me. Uh... Ah, Kochira, yeah, this way. I don't think I've actually heard heard that before. It, it probably it probably happens. I just haven't heard it or didn't realize it happened. But usually what they they would do is say Irishamase, and if they uh, if you have to wait to seat. They ask you, Nanin desu ka? How many people? Kind of like really, really fast. And you can tell them how many people you have or just hold up your fingers. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, if you're alone, you can say, uh, Hitori desu or just hold up one. If you're with two, with another person, 
あ2つです。あ2つ、いや、2つ、I think it's fine. I think there's、um, another way to say for, that,、uh, for two people, but either for that or, or just hold up two, and that, get, that gets you through. Used to greet a customer, you don't answer to it at all.、Uh, to the Irashaimase. You will hear the Irashaimase a lot in the conven convenience stores. You'll also hear it a lot in the、um, ramen shops. I don't think you hear it so much in the. Fancy dining restaurants, but you might still hear it, but not so loudly as in the other places. And I guess it depends on the convenience store because they don't say it all the time. Let's see, what, what do the people say here? Oishi desu. Oishi. It is delicious. How about you? Oh, we got some construction workers. Konbanwa. Konbanwa. o o s u k a san. They're eating Sanuki udon. Kagawa no udon wa oishi desu. Kagawa's udon is very delicious or very tasty. Sanuki udon ga suki desu. He likes Sanuki udon.、Uh, Nakano, Nakano san likes Sanuki udon. Oishi desu. Oishi. Okay, what's on the menu on the. On the wall. So, a lot of times they'll also have menus on the wall, and that's mostly just in Japanese. They have coffee, udon, and what is here in the, the very last thing? Please stop blocking the, the menu. I, want, I need to read the menu. Please stop blocking the menu. They don't have an English menu here. Please, I need to read it. Ocha. Oh, tea. Never mind. They have tea. Nihonjin desu ka? Uh, yeah, we came here for the udon, but we also came here for you, udon chef. Sanuki udon o t a b e m a s a h i u d o n Wait, Konban wa, Yoroshiku no gai shimas, i e Wo. Kudasai? Udon wo kudasai. Udon wo kudasai? I don't think we ever got this phrase before. O kudasai. O kudasai. Udon wo kudasai. When did we get this phrase? I don't remember this one. I guess we just picked that one out of process of elimination because it doesn't make sense otherwise. Hi. Udon desu. It's going to take some time to prepare. Mizu o nomimasu ka? Uh, oh, water. Okay. The water's over there. Where's the water? Oh, the water's over here by, the, by this thing. Normally, the water in a restaurant is just kind of given to you. There's no cooler. At least I haven't seen a cooler before. Red udon w a k u d a s a i as hand over the udon rather than asking for it. Yeah, it kind of, it kind of feels, it feels like that, but、yeah. we're, we're learning. We're learning.、Uh, we haven't gotten to the Super K Go. Koko, Koko ni udon. No, no, Koko ni, not udon. Koko ni mizu ga arimas. Hai.、Uh, mizu wo nomimas. We are going to be drinking the udon. Did we get the word for drink? I don't remember getting the word for drink. Probably don't drink it right in front of the, the station. Kagawa no mizu desu. Kagawa no mizu. Wait, did we get the word for drink? Verbs.、Uh, verbs. Oh, we did. When did we get this? Nomi. Nomimas. Tabimas. To eat. Uh. Where is please? I don't remember getting. Woku desai. But we're using it, so. I guess, it I guess we did. Udon wo tabemasu. Hey, the udon's here. Oishii desu. Oishii desu. Watashi no sanuki udon ga suki desu ka? Uh, do you like my sanuki udon? Yes, yes, I do. You, you never say no to the chef, even if it tastes bad. Uh, Oishii. Oishii. 
You don't never say it tastes bad in front of their face. Leave a, leave a Google review for that one. Ask about the Kagawa Japanese Grandmaster. Ho ho ho. Funny, someone named Josh came up to me and asked me the same question. Oh yeah, our rival. I forgot about him. I am in fact the son of the Japanese Grandmaster Kagawa. Oh. Why are they using the dot instead of a question mark when asking something? I don't know. I think I, I think we should point that out in the in the beta test. But I don't know if it's because uh is it redundant with ka? Yes. Does it make sense with ka? Not necessarily. It shouldn't. But uh I'm not sure why. Maybe it's just to make it easier to read for people, but it, it's technically wrong. Show me that your Japanese is good enough. I... Yeah, maybe we'll send a... a what do you call this? No, um, What do you call this? Dev notes? No, not dev notes. Review? That's not it. A bug report? Probably a bug report. Yeah, it is a question, so it's technically wrong. Tsunoki udon wa oishi desu. The word for the image, that is a house. Ie. Hello, water, please. Konnichiwa. Kabawa. Konbanwa. Mizu. Mizu. Kudasai. Okudas. Wait, what? Ocha. A. No. O. O. Chi. A. Cha. Right side, Migi. Migi. Mi. おいしい。おいしい。お。お。いし。い。あ、まえ、まえ。漫画、コミック、漫画、ま、ま。うん。が。が。I Behind Ushiro, uh, u u shi shi ro. Ro. Maybe one of these days I'll have a type of kanji Koko for no some udon of this. Ga desu. Koko no no udon, udon ga ga suki desu. Suki desu. I drink coffee, coffee, coffee. Mizu, mizu, uh, mi, mi, zu, zu. I missed one. I'm surprised they haven't taught you 10, considering that you're looking around for an udon shop. No, they haven't gotten through 10, and they haven't gotten through ya yet either. Maybe we don't have enough types of shops yet to to bring that up? I feel like, yeah, maybe, um, maybe we're still too early for that, I'm not entirely sure. The Grandmaster lives in Maragami Castle. Oh, we gotta go through Maragami. I think Maragami... The way to Maragami is being blocked a po by a police officer who's looking for a bento. Okay. Hey, Luna. Welcome. Yeah, it's pretty good. Have you tried signing up for the beta? You can try the beta um, at the moment. Well, you can try the beta right now, actually. Just make sure to sign up on their website. You can do that. However, even if your Japanese is decent, you'll need to learn more. You'll have to learn more. Find Saiki. Saiki is in the library in Takamatsu. The, the library is uh, left of the konbini. Let's see. Uh, I missed something. What the heck did I miss? What did I miss? Maybe it's the ones with the... Oh, you know what? Oh, okay. They do have all of this reviewing... Reviewing? Hmm. I wonder what reviewing filters. Oh, yeah. Right, where we're gonna submit a um, a thing here. 
feedback, feedback, that's what it's called. When using... Let's see, how do I switch my characters here? Ah. Avoid using... Wait. A period? A period. It is technically incorrect despite it making it easier to read. Is this all gonna get in, I wonder? I wonder. Did the feedback go through? I have no idea. Because that was a long text. <laughs> uh, what? Did we have any other feedback too? Oh, no, this one's a personal thing. Uh, but if you guys had spotted anything else, let me know. Feedback is probably something uh, we should be giving them. Contact support team email. Do I need to email? I think that you can just they can just get it through here because it's connected. Uh, let's see what what else was that? Oh yeah, um, fil filter the dictionary by proficiency, please. So when I say proficiency, you see these uh, these bars here on the side that fill up as you get better at it? This is what I mean. So I th don't know if you can really do that. There's this learning status for reviewing. But we have 65 results without any filters. If we just click reviewing, it goes down to 59. But it seems to also include... Uh, two bars, one bar, and zero bars. So I'm not exactly sure what it is not um, including. But filtering the stuff by what you're not so good at, or at least have, haven't really filled up yet, might be a good idea. That that was that was what that feed that feedback was. Oh, oh the kid came in. Udon Moko decide. There's an udon shop. What else would you be ordering here? Coffee? I mean, they do offer coffee. Hi. Udon desu. At least, you know, if we're gonna specify udon, curry udon, regular udon, cold udon, which kind of udon? Oh, the bus person. Doko ni ikimasu ka? Uh, we're not going to the airport. We're not going to. Improve Japanese with Psyche. Sano, who I met in Takamatsu bus station, has a book for Nakata. But where is Sano? Are they still in the bus station? Takamatsu Red Lighthouse. Okay, I guess let's go to the bus station really quick and say thanks to Sano. I don't know if they're still at the airport, though. And for some reason, the cook is on the bus along with us, despite just meeting in the udon shop why did you do that it's are you sano imai bedtime for me uh chofu and sakai <laughs> that's what essay is waiting on your discord okay thank you uh benkyo gan ganba ganbarimasu you're not sano i think this one's sano over here nakata-san no ie wa sanuki ni arimasu Yes, we have we have met uh, Nakata-san. Watashino hon wa Nakata-san no ie ni arimasu ka? Yes, it uh, your book is with uh, Nakata-san already. Thank you. Yes. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Hi. Arigatou gozaimasu. We already did it. To thank you is a little lesson about Japanese. Okay. What lesson are we going to get? Ah, Dakutens! The, one of the more evil things in Japanese, but you get used to them pretty quickly. The symbol 
that kind of looks like a quotation mark place on top on the top right of a kind of changes its sound so you go from k to g so ka ka ga ga and they're very easy to recognize and let uh the 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 ka line will all be like uh g sounds the s line will all be z sounds su z t lines eh, do i not i guess yeah ta da da lines yep so t g becomes uh k becomes g s becomes z t becomes d h becomes b and ha ba so it's uh, really easy to recognize and um, I guess at that point you just kind of remember you kind of have to just memorize what that line of kanas are to memorize them and then you have this degree symbol or the little circle thing it can only only be used on kana starting by the H sound and they all have a P sound right afterwards. Uh, they become a P sound from the H sound. Ha, pa. Ha, pa. So pa, pi, pi, pa, po. Pa, 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 pi, pa. Oh, uh, wait, what's that, what's that one? What's that one Miku song? With the, the vegetable juice. She says it so fast, I can't, I can't keep up. Uh, small, ya, you, yo. Can be added to kana ending. Uh, by the uh, making what can be added to kana ending by the i sound Ki. so if if it has an i sound it becomes yeah and you add this it becomes that so ki becomes kya kyo kyu and then you have g g jo jo but you can also have sha shi chi sha no sha it won't be sa, it will be chi. Cha. Cha cho chi. Wait. Where's the kana chart? This is you're confusing the explanations doesn't seem to be very clear here. The way the information on the Dakuten isn't really clear because it's easier to see on a chart. Where's the kana chart? Uh let's see. When, intru when introducing Dakuten. When introducing Dakuten. It would be helpful to show. To also show the chart. It would also be helpful to show the chart. I think that's the best I can give the feedback on this one. No, no. There we go. Arigatou gozaimasu. Yeah, because if we go to the, the Kana chart, let's go stick with Hiragana. So here we have the, the Dakuten for the apostrophe. So you have Ka becomes Ga, Ki becomes Gi, Gu becomes Go, and so forth. And as you can see, they basically also have the same sound, so all the the ka line becomes ga, sa becomes uh, sa becomes za. Uh, a little pro weird pronunciation here with z and g. Just gonna have to get used to it. Da, da line, ba line, and then papi poop, papi poop po, papi poop po, papi papi poop po, <coughs> papi poop po. And then kya, gya. Uh, but they said the, the I sound, which would make sense for kya, gya, sha. I guess it's she. That makes sense, true. That makes sense, too. So, she, ja, which is, I think, g. I don't think they necessarily mentioned you can also put this with the, the dakuten. Uh, this this dakuten line they did say anything with an i sound which i think is technically correct but it would be helpful to also see this i think is what my point there but in 190 characters is a little hard to describe nya 
Nya Nyu Nyo. I think uh, we're quite familiar familiar with Nya. Kia, Bia, Pia, Mia, Ria. I don't see Ria a lot, but I see Ryu a lot. And also Ryo, but not Ria. Not sure where you. Yeah. Ria comes from. And I can also see why the, the LR sounds are a little bit weird here. Because I get confused sometimes in Japanese, even though I have no problem with that in English. Yeah, we're going to Takamatsu. We're going to, we're going to Takamatsu Toshokan, the library. I don't think there's anything else we need to do. We have our, we have our quest log here. Uh, someone is calling for help in Takamatsu Lighthouse, but can we go there yet? I tried going there last time, but I, I couldn't seem to go there. Maybe I need to go to the library first before I go to the lighthouse. But yeah, if, you, if you're just joining us right now, we're going through Wagotabi. I'm trying to explain what I know as I learn them in the game. And if you have any feedback as we go through the game uh, to improve this, that you find a little bit weird, we found something weird a, a while ago, uh, let me know so we can look it over and possibly send some feedback uh, to the devs. Uh, I think they need a lot of that right now. The The game itself isn't going to come out until, I think, um, I want to say fourth quarter of this year so around fall and winter and it's i think it's also going to come out on mobile first so just keep that in mind but if you have steam you can wish it on steam i do think the mobile version might be beneficial because for the the smart test these are usually spaced hours apart and you're not gonna i feel like you're not gonna be checking this thing like that often so to help with that, they do have notifications here. Uh, there's a notif notification badges, but that's within the game. Then you have notifications, actual notifications for the smart test. So you get enough notification on your phone or tablet, whichever one you're using. And you can see like, oh yeah, it's time to do some tests. Kind of like when Duolingo uh, bugs you for, for, that, for reviews and stuff. That'll do it too, but I don't know what the timing in Duolingo is, but this one's like usually a few hours apart. And depending on how well you know it, um, it'll be even longer. So you're not going to be checking this that often, but should be doing short reviews here and there. Anywhere between one to two hours each day, or maybe even 30 minutes, or one tiny little section. Whatever is... Uh, Whatever it is you can handle, but not too long. Okay. Still can't get in. We can't let this person out, so we gotta go to the library first. Toshokan. We were given the... The hiragana for this, but not the kanji. The kanji for Toshokan is right here on the building. And it is complicated as heck. <laughs> Um, I don't know how to explain this. I don't know if they will explain it, but we're, uh, we're just gonna go in and uh, see here. Someone left a note? Oh, they're in Ritsurin Garden. Okay. Ritsurin Garden. If it, I feel like it was down here. Oh, all the people finally cleared out. Nice. Well, Koen means park. Uh, Niwa means garden, but a lot of times people interchange, I guess, Koen and, and garden together. But it's technically a park, but I think we just call it garden uh, in English. Ritsurin Koen. Ritsurin Koen. Formerly a chestnut grove. It's, no, does Ritsurin mean chestnut? Chestnut is... What is chestnut in Japanese? And I've had chestnuts before, but I forget. I keep forgetting what they're called. Jamie, I was waiting for the boat tour. I am waiting for the boat tour. I've heard it's a great way to feel the atmosphere of the park. There's a boat tour in the park? Really? 
We're doing an SSN in the park. We are in Ritsurin Park or Garden. They like it. I haven't been there, so I can't say. Uh, heart, the heart hedges. Let me see. Let me see if I can find a picture of uh, Ritsurin Garden. They probably actually have this. Ritsurin Garden. Okay, yeah. So they do call it Ritsurin Garden. On the internet, Ritsurin Koen technically means Ritsurin Park, but also Garden in this sense. Walter White. Uh, <laughs> if I if I ask, I don't have a hat on on this model. Uh, but if I put my if I put my hat on, let me see if I can find. Let me see if I can find a hat. I I technically also have a hat, but not on this one. Oh my gosh! I should ask. I should ask that uh, my artist for the artist for this one to to put a hat on. But let's see if I put the. Hmm. Wait. Hold up. Let's uh. Let's use this. Let's use this. It's gonna look a little weird. It's gonna look a little weird. But let's try to use this one. So if uh if we put a hat on me. If we put a hat on me. Oh, no, no, no. How do, how do I shrink this? Nope, that's not it. Ah, I think it's this one. If we put the hat on... Because I know Walter White has that hat, right? And I kind of have the same hat, but... Walter White and I are have no relation. Oh, in the game? Oh, well... Ah... <laughs> uh... Yes, actually, now that you mention it, yes, it does. That was not intentional. I, I think I just clicked random. I just clicked random. Yeah, you're right. I look nothing like Walter White as far as the model is concerned, but the one in the game, it does look like Walter White. But that was not intentional. That just kind of happened. I, I still should be asking for the hat, though. I, I feel like I need a, I, I want a hat. I want a hat. Okay. Uh, where were we? Where were we again? I was I was looking for a picture of a Ritsuden Garden. I still I'm still still kind of hung up on that. Oh oh here it is. Oh crap! They didn't get a nice aerial of it. But let me see. Sorry, uh, whoever I, I'm get stealing this picture from. I'm, I need to, I need to show it to chat really quick. Oh, thank you, thank you for that. Um, uh, let's see. We're gonna reset this image. We transform. Okay. So this is what that thing on the side is referencing. You see this, uh, this little area. But maybe a little hard to see through chat where the hedges kind of look like hearts and onigiris it that's basically what this picture is uh i don't think i've seen anyone with an aerial shot of it at least not that i've been able to find but it is i want to say fairly accurate though you know three by three versus a bunch of small hedges you can only get so accurate with pixel sprites but it's pretty much the same i say it's pretty much the same. They did a good job on that one. Real life location, by the way. You can go here. I guess we have to cross the bridge now? Okay, we'll cross the bridge. Oda, Oda san. Wait, do you. Wait, Oda san? Chotomate, chotomate. Do you write One Piece? I'm not a fan, but do you write One Piece? <laughs> Just asking. Y y your name sounds very familiar. Kigasuki desu. Oh, they like trees. Uh, do you like the trees in Ritsurin Garden? Uh, let's see. Ritsurin no ki ga 
Oh, I guess I have to say Lutheran Garden. Lutheran Koen? Koen? No. No. Ki? Ki. Ga. Ga. The park, uh, Lutheran Garden trees. Suki desu. I like. Lutheran Koen no ki ga suki desu. If you were to read this in English, it would be uh, Richardin Garden Trees, I like, <laughs> which is weird. Just keep in mind in Japanese, your verbs will always be last. So it takes a lot of listening through the first part of the sentence to figure out what they want to talk about. And at the end of the sentence, they'll finally tell you what they're doing, either existing or saying like or eating it's a little bit weird but that's just kind of how it, the structure is but yeah the, uh i've never been to richardin garden i've never been to kagawa prefecture but it is now officially in my future itinerary to do so like i literally have an itinerary to go all around shikoku to explore there to begin with but not necessarily takamatsu but now takamatsu is on the list so yeah Arigatou gozaimasu. They, we like the trees. They like that. I'm the gardener in charge here. Okay, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. We're getting more lessons. Tree lessons? Dore. Dore? Where? Oh no. Oh, this, I always get this confused with dochi. I think dochi is... No. Wait, what's the difference between dochi and where? Wait, dochi and dore. Just say. I'm gonna look up in you in Google. Dochi versus Dore. Dore and Dochi both mean which one? Dore is used with groups of three or more. If there are only two items, Dochi is used. Oh, that's the that's a confusion. I feel like when I started learning Japanese a long time ago, I never actually used Dore, or at least I never ran into Dore. But I, I used dochi a lot, but I didn't realize dore was for bigger groups. We'll have to go to Kanazawa one day. Yeah, it does look really pretty. Um, generally, anything outside of Tokyo. And I say this a lot. I say this a lot. Uh, Tokyo is not my favorite place in the world or even in Japan. Like, I would like to stay in Tokyo for as little time as possible. To be fair... Tokyo have, has a lot of stuff that you can do, has a lot of places where you can go to. If you're a city person, you'll probably enjoy Tokyo. However, I do not like the hustle and bustle of Tokyo. It gets a little bit crowded. Um, even in the fall, it gets way too humid. And just in general, the vibe in Tokyo, not exactly the... The friendliest i'm not saying that tokyo people are mean they're not they are however a little bit on the cold side and when i say cold i mean like you know it's a, it's a city you don't really care what's happening to anyone else unless you're in new york city and in that case there's a lot of crazy and crazy people in new york city and you should probably shouldn't care about them but they make their their presence known as kind of like a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, also said by a guest we had recently on the channel who lives in New York. So it's kind of like, yeah, just confirming the stereotypes there. <laughs> but anyway, outside of Tokyo, though, in generally is a lot better. Even if you go to Kyoto, uh, even if you go to Osaka, the vibe is very different. They're both big cities, but not as big as Tokyo and definitely... I don't know, it's, it's just a, uh, it's just different. The countryside is, it feels more open. It just feels like more real Japan. I say, I say real Japan, everywhere is real Japan in Japan. But it feels like the, the, the Japan you expect, I think. Maybe, I don't know. I just feel a little bit more at ease um, outside of Tokyo. It doesn't matter where, it could be in Fukuoka, which is also another city. And I'm still, I still like that better than Tokyo. I will say though, there are, there are places around Tokyo that are kind of nice that are uh, countryside-ish, because technically you you don't have to go very far. Maybe like 
an hour at least to get outside of the city of Tokyo and you're already in the countryside, which is kind of funny if you think about it. Saitama Prefecture, right next to Tokyo. It's technically not the countryside, but it's already more open than Tokyo uh, City is, or at least the metro Tokyo, Tokyo Metropolis. Because technically when, it, when we think of Tokyo, we think of this gigantic city, but Tokyo City itself is just one part of Tokyo uh, Tokyo Metropolis, which has a bunch of other cities. Shinjuku is a city. Uh, Ueno is a city. But we don't really think of them as cities. Kind of like, you know, the Bronx is part of New York, but it's not, it's like, I think the Bronx might be just a neighborhood. I feel <laughs> bad comparison, bad comparison. But yeah, um, yeah, a lot, a lot of places outside of Tokyo are... I feel like it's just better in general, as far as experience-wise goes. But yeah, lots, still lots of nice places to to visit. Just you know, whatever your preference is. But Dore versus Dochi, uh, Dore, which one? I don't think they specify here with like three or more. Though I'm looking at at Google also, and they specified that, so I'm not sure if this is just preferred. Dore. Dore. Do. Re. 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 Kore. Kore. Uh, this. C uh, close to the speaker. Kore. 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 Ko. Re. Sore. Sore. That. Away from you, but close to the person you're speaking to. Sore. Sore. So. So. Re. Re. Are. Are. Away from both of you. So we've we've had before koko, soko, and asoko, which are both uh, also which are also another set of location words. Um, but I think that's more about location specifically. I'm not sure. I, we're gonna have to like review what the difference is between soko and sore but if you think of sore as that and uh soko as there i think it makes a little bit more sense right there is uh referring to a location meanwhile that is referring to a thing in a location i think <laughs> my english is my English explanations are a little bit convoluted sometimes. But yeah. If you think of sore as in that and soko as in there. So like koko, soko, asoko, if you think of it as like uh, here, there, over there. And kore, sore, are as in this, that, and that over there. I think you can kind of get a gist of what it's supposed to mean. And that's kind of how they're used anyway. Are? A. A. Re. Ne. No. Re. 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 Uh, dore. Dore. Which one? Uh, kore. Kore. This. Sore. Sore. That. Are. Are. Over there. That over there. Nandeska. What is it comes at the end of the sentence. Be careful here. Uh, na nani. I don't think we've. Uh, I don't think have we come across this before. Nani is pr pronounced as nan and not nani. Okay, they kind of explain it because we haven't really gone through it. Nan, uh, nani, na nan and not nani. This is an exception. Yeah, so nandeska. Not nani deska. I guess you can say nani deska. It would sound a little weird though. Sound a little weird. Uh, nan deska. Uh, na 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 na. Na. De. Z. Nope. De. De. Su. Su. Ka. Where is ka? Ka. What is this? Close to the speaker. Uh, nani kore. Is what I would normally say, but I guess we don't have that here. So, oh, we do. 
Uh, no, we have none Deska. I would normally say Nanikore, but we are saying. Kore wa. Kore wa nani deska? Nan deska? Kore wa nan deska? Kore, yeah, I, I usually skip the, skip the wa. <laughs> now that I think about it, I just skip the wa uh, when actually speaking, but. Properly speaking, it's kore wa nan desu ka, not kore desu, kore nan desu ka. This tree right here was originally a bonsai. It was a gift from the 11th Tokugawa Shogun over 200 years ago. Old tree. Old tree, but not the oldest tree. I think the oldest tree in Japan is... six or 7,000 years old, which is crazy if you think about it. I have some time to practice my Japanese. Hey, John! Oh, it's our rival. Konnichiwa. Ocha wo kudasai. Ocha wo kudasai. Nihon no ocha ga suki desu. Uh, okay. Konnichiwa. Ocha wo kudasai. Tea, please. He likes Japanese tea. Oh, this is Saiki. By the way, Saiki over here. Uh, the girl with the... Blue hair or guy with the blue hair? It's a little. I think Psyche is a female name. Uh, Psyche has a Twitter account that you can follow, and their Twitter account goes over kanji and the history of kanji. At least that's what they've been covering recently. So, yeah, might be interesting to check out. Let's talk to everyone else first before then. This is Japanese tea. This is Japanese tea is delicious. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Koko ni Nihon no ocha ga arimasu. Koko ni Nihon no ocha ga arimasu. You can find, you can get, you, there is Japanese tea here. I'm guessing there is a tea house. You'll, you'll definitely see a lot of tea houses in gardens. And I say a lot of tea houses, generally there's only one. It's not like a collection of tea house, but there's generally like one tea house in a garden. Um, I went to, it's not necessarily a garden, but there's Nijo Castle in Kyoto. Or is it called Nijojo? I call it just, I just call it Nijo Castle. Nijo Castle is basically an estate uh, from one, from like some historic person. And they have a really, really nice garden you can walk through around the estate and there is a tea garden over uh not tea garden but like a, like a um a tea shop that you can sit down uh order some tea and desserts and you just have a nice relaxing time would highly recommend it not just there but anywhere else if if you want a slightly more accessible tea garden if you're in tokyo the one that I went to was in the what do you, there's the Tok, there's the Tokyo Metropolitan Museum. I think that's what it's called. It's right next to Oweno Park, and you do have to pay an admission fee to even get close to the museum. Like there's a gate, and then you have to pay admission fee. Like, I think in most places, most places around the world, you have to pay the admission fee to get into the museum, but you have to get, you have to pay the fee to get on the grounds of the museum of this one. Because there's multiple museums, and depending on which one you want to go to, um, they charge you for that. But you can just get a general admission for that particular place, and you go behind the museum, and there should be a tea garden there. I think there's I think it's also kind of like a small park but it's not not park but it's like a small garden with a few replica houses it's okay but I went there specifically for the, the the tea shop and it was pretty nice it was pretty relaxing um, kind of on the expensive side but it's not too bad it's not too bad okay now we I, let's, I guess let's talk to Saiki really quick はじめまして。佐伯です。あ、はじめまして。はじめまして。ウルカ。ほほほ。ほほほ、right. です。よろしくお願いします。
よろしくお願いしますお願いしますはじめよろしくお願いします I'm the librarian in Takamatsu 高松の図書館が好きです。ああ、高松の図書館好き。Oh, they like the they like the library. Ask for help with Japanese. Hmm, I see. I'll first assess your Japanese with three challenges. Oh no. If you succeed, I will give you something something to help you. Your first challenge is to order tea from Yoko. Oh, I know a Yoko. Yoko さんは左にいます。Yeah, Yoko is to the left. Okay, we're ordering tea. Konnichiwa. Oh, your name is Yoko. Koko ni Nihon no ocha ga arimas. Okay.、Uh, Nihon no ocha. That's, that's all it says. No, please. Just Nihon no ocha. Nihon no ocha o nomimas ka? Uh. Ocha. Ocha. I guess I have to say Nihon no ocha? Nihon? Nihon no, no. ocha. Ocha. Uh, wo kudasai. O kudasai. O kudasai. Nihon no ocha o kudasai. So they were asking me, Do you want to drink Japanese tea? And I said, I want to,、uh, please、uh, give, I guess, please give me the, the tea. Please give me the Japanese tea. It's a, it's a little bit of weird construction, but I guess if you're learning, this is, this is fine. Hi. Ocha wa table no ue ni arimas. The tea is on the table. Where? There's a tea over here, but that's not our tea.、Uh, I guess we're, since there's only two tables we're sharing with Psyche. Okay, well, that's a little awkward. k o r e wa nihon no ocha desu. This is Japanese tea. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato. Ocha o nomimasu. Your second challenge is to take this lesson. Okay. Chan. Chan, suffix used for young girls. Or in some cases, some guys. Does not have to be young. Or a girl. Does not have to be young. Or a girl. <laughs> But in general, chan, mostly used for young girls. I did say mostly. Nana chan. Chan. Chan, cha cha. Chi. Ya. Cha. An. Chan. Kun. Kun, suffix mostly used for young boys or people of lower status. Now that's an interesting little tidbit of the lower status bit. Like, say,、uh, let's say you're in a group or like an office setting. Let's just put office setting because that's probably a general setting to, to see where the hierarchy is, which I absolutely hate. But anyway,、uh, office setting, let's say you're a boss. Is there? I think it would be more professional than this, but if it was a fairly loose environment,、um, your boss would probably call you something kun. Like, say, they call me Ruka kun. I need you to do this. And it's kind of like, it's, it's a friendly thing, but it's also like, you know, you're definitely not the boss. So <laughs> it's like, okay, okay. But、um, for little boys too, I guess, or. I guess like tomboys would probably get this too. You know, if, if you watch or read enough manga and anime,、uh, you'll see some girls have a kun by them. Or they're like a really boyish girl kind of thing. Kun. 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 Otona. Otona. Adult. Otona. I wonder if they'll get to the, the weird thing with Otona. Oh, we'll, we'll leave it for now. We'll leave it for now. Otona. Otona. A. No, that's A. O. O. Do. To. No. Na. Okay. Chan. Chan. Play a little girl. Kun. Kun. Boy. Otona. Adult. Onna no ko. Onna no ko. So we have the kanji for woman, which is onna. 
can also be pronounced as Jo, depending on the context. But it's woman in general, if it's just alone and not combined with anything else. Ona no ko. Ko. Is, this kanji is the kanji for child. When used by itself. So ona no ko is just a girl. Now, why is there the no there? I cannot answer that. I need someone more fluent than me to to explain that. I, th I feel like that's just a, a language thing. Ona no ko. It's a girl. It's actually a small uh, onna, onna, onna. Oh. Na. I think there's an N in between. Hold up. On? Mm. Na? Na. No? No. Ko. Ko. Oshi no ko. I still haven't seen that, by the way. Otoko no ko. Otoko no ko. Otoko. The kanji for man. But, again, still a child. So, man. Child means boy. Uh, otoko o. to to ko ko no no ko where's the ko again? Ko. Otoko no ko. Kodomo. Yeah, there's a lot a lot there's a lot of kanji in wani kani, but keep in mind with wani kani, even though they have the context tab, the context tab is not very helpful sometimes. <laughs> So it helps uh, having it's, it helps having this to reinforce that. Uh, so yeah, like in Wanikan, you get a lot of vocabulary, and that is great. But for people who are starting from scratch, who may not have done Wanikani, uh, this helps. This helps still. This helps quite a bit. What did they say? Kodomo. Kodomo, a child. Kodomo. We have the kanji for child again. But we uh, we have a hiragana attached, so I guess we have to pronounce it that way. Kodomo. So I feel like you can just... No, I don't think I've ever seen this as purely hiragana. I wonder if it... What, I wonder if it means different if you don't. Kodo. Kodomo. Mo. Onna no ko. Onna no ko? Girl. Otoko no ko. O otoko no ko. Boy. By the way, I know I have a, a little short video about otoko no ko. However, it's not this kanji for for otoko. No, ona no ko. Ona no ko? Otoko no ko. O, oto, oto no ko. There's a different kanji where it, I think it's like kanji for daughter. Otoko no ko, which would mean... I guess it's a cross-dressing guy. Yeah, as as a girl. Little tidbit. Probably didn't need to know, but there it is. Kodomo. Great! <laughs> for your last challenge, go for a boat ride. Oh, an actual boat ride. Ushiro e ikimasu. Ushiro e ikimasu. Wait. Ushiro ikimasu. Oh, ikimasu. She, Ushiro. We're going. We're going to the back. Oh, I did not know there was an exit right there. I thought that was just a, a sliding... I, th I thought that was just a divider. Okay. Oh, the boat's over here. Interesting. Jump into the boat. Okay. I hope you're not afraid of water. I am not. I'm afraid of heights, though. Take Psyche by boat to the park entrance. Oh. Oh! Directions in Japanese. Okay, so we are going to the right. Uh, Migi. Migi. Uh, shita. Down. Shita. Oh, it just keeps going until it stops. I see. Hidari to the left. Hidari. There's a weird way to do it, but I guess it's a good way to reinforce directions. Smart. Ue. Ue. Now, did we ever get the kanji for stop? I guess we didn't. This might be the first time we've seen it. Stop. No, wait. Aren't we done? Oh, no. Oh, I pressed this button up here. Arigatou gozaimasu. 
It was so much fun. By the way, I've been lying to you. I'm your final challenge. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, with the with a smiley. She likes uh, emo emojis apparently, or cow emoji in in this case. She's the boss. Uh, he, he daddy. Uh, this is in front, so mae. To go, ikimas. Train station, eki. Uh, uwe, up, uwe. Tree, ki, uh, ki. Otoko no ko, uh, little boy. Koen, park. To eat, tabemas. There we go. Naka inside. Na uh, na 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 Onna, uh, oh, 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 this one. Ushiro. U. U. Shi. Shi. Ro. Ro. Uh, no me must drink. That was actually a little bit tough. Um, notice there wasn't a whole lot of listening exercises there. Actually, no listening exercises. It was all reading. So you had to be forced to read all the the kanji and text pretty quickly well done takamatsu no toshokan ni ikimasu takamatsu no osh, uh, toshokan ni ikimasu okay we're going to go to the library or she will she will be i'll give you something to help you on your journey mata ne mata ne wait do i have the gift already or do i go to the to the library first to to get it. Okay, well we got a little thing at the library, uh, at the park. Oh, okay, we have to go to the library first before we do that. Gotcha. All right, let's go to the library then. Let's find. I think this would be a good stopping point, but let's go to the library really quick, and we might stop right after that. Okay. Kato. Neko. What are you what are you doing there, little girl? Emma this. Emma? Kodomo this. You are a child, yes. Otona dewa arimasen. You are not an adult. Okay. Uh what's this? Sana. 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 Kun. Kun. Wa. Wa. Kodomo. Kodomo. Des. Des. Ka. Ka. Sana kun wa kodomo desu ka? Who's Sana? Who's Sana? Sana kun wa kodomo desu. Where is Sana? Who is Sana? I haven't seen a Sana anywhere. Sana desu. Oh, you're Sana. Yoroshiku o negai shimasu. Yoroshiku. Manga ga suki desu. You like manga? I do too. Emma-chan no hon ga suki desu. Oh, I see what the, what the difference here is. She likes actual books. She doesn't think manga are actual books. I see. I see. Koko ni manga ga arimasu. There are manga over here. One Piece, Akira, Monster, holy crap, these are some old stuff. I mean, I guess the only one here that might be contemporary is One Piece. I could spend the whole day here by Akira and Monster? That is some old, old references right there. Emma-chan wa onna no ko desu. 
Emma chan is a little girl. Sana kun wa otoko no ko desu. Sana kun is a little boy. Okay. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. I just wanted to go to the, to the table. Koko wa Takamatsu no toshokan desu. This is Takamatsu's、uh, library. If you can demonstrate your mastery of kanji, Saiki might be willing to see you. Oh, kanji time. Left is、uh, Hidari. Water is Mizu. Book is Hon. Well done. You know what? One of these days, I feel like if they really, 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 really wanted to push it. Uh, they could drop kanji all together and we can all just use emojis. <laughs> you know what I mean? Emojis are pretty darn clear. Kanji, not so clear. Emojis are universal. Kanji is not so universal. But a good chunk of the world does use it. So I don't know. I feel like we should all move to emojis. But how would you read complicated stuff in emoji? That would be, that'd be different. I feel like that would be like a lot of inter interpretation. Like, if you're asking for someone to, to do something, like, please, k u d a s a i I guess you would do the bowing emoji. I use that a lot also to, use for, to ask for forgiveness <laughs> from people. You deserve to talk to Psyche. Oh, deserve, really. Deserve. Sakana. Sakana. Oh no, more kanji. Fish.、Uh, for anyone new learning kanji, there's really no easy way to learn this. You just see a, a, a box with little fin thingies at the bottom. And that apparently is a fish. Sakana. Sa. Sa. Ka. Ka. No. Na. Niku. Niku. Learn this one. Learn. This kanji it is used a lot. I guess it kind of looks like me, not really. I don't know, but it's a very important kanji.、Um, if you like meat or want to avoid meat, niku, 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 bento, bento. I did not know how kanji, I have not seen this yet. I I mean, I haven't seen this together. I've seen to, I've seen ben, but not ben to together. This is different. I have not seen this before. Ben to. Be. To. Oh, I, oh, you want the U? You want the U? Hold up, hold up. Where's my U? U. Ben to. Sakana? Sakana. Niku. This is why I say emoji eventually will hopefully replace kanji. But it may never will. Pan bread. Not a kanji, but it is、uh, katakana, which may as well be kanji in a different form. Pan. Pan bread. Pa. Nani. Nani. You will see this a lot in manga. Nani. 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 Emoji is already the next step in human language. It's, it's just people are very resistant to, to push it. How would you handwrite emojis? Good question. I do not have an answer for that. <laughs> Practice your drawings. I think everyone would be a better artist if they, if they did emojis. True.、Uh, you can do the, the facial expressions very easily. By drawing, because you don't have to draw the full face. But you're right. How do you draw a cake? How do you draw a fish? How do you draw a cat? This is true. I do not have an answer for that. Maybe we just stick with kanji after all. I, as as low as I am. How, how, maybe, okay, maybe you just stick with emoji in text, but you may not necessarily write it, you know? Like, you don't, you don't write out. At least I, I hope you don't write out、um, programs on paper like C and Python and all that stuff. That would just be pain. But yeah.
maybe we maybe we just keep it in text and make up new weird meanings for for different combinations of, of emojis. <laughs> Nani? Nani desu ka? Nani? Kaimasu. Kaimasu. Uh, this is the kanji for buy. Kaimasu is you are uh, buying. You, or I am, or you are buying. But this uh, this little weird boxy thing is the 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 buy kanji. Kaimasu. Ka Ka right there. Pan. Pan. Uh, nani? Nani? Kaimas. Kaimas. Saeki-san wa ue ni imasu. Oh, she's upstairs? All right, we're gonna go there. Otona no hon wa ue ni arimasu. Otona, otona no hon wa ue ni arimasu. Adult books? Adult books? I don't... Are we talking about the same kind of adult books or am I thinking of a different kind of adult book? Why are we calling... Why are we calling Otona no Hon? What, what kind of adult books are we talking about? Hidari ni kodomo no Hon ga arimasu. Hidari ni kodomo no Hon. Okay, children's books, adult books, okay. Migi ni ocha ga arimasu. I see the little table with the, the tea. Why, uh, I guess bookstores have a tea shop, so I guess a library can too? I just wanted to get to the table, actually. <laughs> I just, I, I just want to, I just want to get the table. Um, let me see, let me get there. Wait, is this a, is this a tea dispenser? Oh my gosh, that's so fancy. We drinking the tea. Tea done. It's probably just gonna be like really cheap tea, but it's, you know, it's still amazing. My dream is to become a Japanese teacher. To teach Japanese. Here's a trick to remember, Hidari and Migi. Oh, tell me. I had my own way earlier, but maybe this will be better. Uh, Hidari contains the E in katakana, as in for left. Okay, that's a that's a good one. I didn't think about it that way. Technically, this uh, this bottom one is a different radical, which is used in construction a lot. But if you think of it as E in katakana, which is E in, as in left, in left, that makes a lot more sense than construction. Contains ro as in katakana for right. A bit of a stretch, but I see where this is going. I see where that's coming from. E as in left, ro as in right. Definitely a lot easier than, than the usual. Okay. You like the, the library's tea? Better be good tea. Ino, Ino san, Inoe. Okay, I guess we'll go up. Okay, what kind of books are up here? There's a biography section. Ah, that's what they mean by adult books, biographies. There's a big biography of Satoshi Tajiri, 1965. Who is this guy? A living legend. I have never heard of that name before. Ishikawa-san wa otona desu. Ishikawa-san is an adult. And you are... Mio. Ah, Mio. I don't know if I to call you Mio-san or Mio-chan, but since you're a grandma, I should probably call you Mio. Mio-san, out of respect. This is the geography section. Okay. There's a book about Masushima located in the prefecture of Miyagi. Miyagi is all the way down in Kyushu. There's a very famous archipelago known as one of the three views of Japan. I don't think I've heard of that one. Uh, books full on Japanese folk legends. Ones about the kitsune yokai foxes that can take on uh, human form. I think uh, the weebs, all of us, know about Kitsunas quite a bit. Kodomo no hon wa doko desu ka? It's uh, downstairs. 
it does sound great if you can read. I don't think I've been in a Japanese library before, but I have been to a, a book fair.、Uh, and I s- still have the, the book with me. I think it was a book on Bali. Like, they have a, a lot of travel books. And I bought a book from Bali for, about Bali. And the book fair was. There was a.、Um, <clears throat> There's a university right, out,、uh, right around Takanobaba in Tokyo. I forgot what the, the place is called. Is it w- Waseda? I think it's Waseda. Anyway, they had a book fair the, the day I went, and it was just a neat experience trying to like, browse all the books I could not read at the time. And bought a couple of random books. One was a book on cats. Another one was a book on travel, which apparently was the Bali book. I don't have the cat book because I gave that as a gift. But I have the Bali book and I should probably see if I can find it. And yeah, just see if,、uh, see if I can start reading it these days.、Uh, but okay, the, the children's book are at the bottom for Kodomo, Kodomo. no, no. Hon, Hon. wa,、um, Shita. Shita. にに、あります。あります。子供の本は下にあります。The children's books are downstairs. ありがとうございます。I should actually give a library a try. I don't know if you need a library card though. I mean, maybe to check out, but just to browse. Or you know, a bookstore would be better. A Japanese bookstore would be a lot easier to, to browse through. But I don't know what the etiquette is with actually reading the books in the store. Probably the same as in the US. Not really welcome. <laughs> These are the adult books. Okay. These musicians call and croak like crows or night herons. Imitating old pieces without putting any feeling into it. Oh, oh, they do. Oh, it does say without putting any feeling. Okay, I read that right.、Uh, the phrases. But look at the farting man. What? What's the farting man? He invented everything by himself without master or secret oral transmission. Truly, he is the founder of the way of farting. A theory of farting. 1977,、uh, 1774. I gotta see if this thing's real. Hold up. A theory on farting. A theory of farting. Hiraga Genai. It's real. Humor and parody in Japanese literature essay. Hiragana Genai was among pioneers of the genre who employed vernacular prose for lampooning societal mores of his time. The essay tells a fictional account of an artistic performance by a farting man in the vicinity of Ryogoku Bridge in Edo, Shirane 515, which apparently was around 1729 and 1780. I see, so it's an actual book. Ha!、Huh. I had a book on Twitter slang in Japanese and another one with parallel English and Japanese full of short stories by a ton of writers. All of these were from my brother who studied. Nice! If you can, if you can read the title, let me know what, it,、uh, what the title is. I kinda wanna, I'm kind of curious if I can find it. This genius inventor and writer also knew how to have fun. Yeah, back in the 1700s. Okay. Hey, Psyche, what are you looking at? This painting depicts a landscape in Matsushima in Tohoku Prefecture. Tohoku is a very nice place. I haven't been to Matsushima though, but Matsushima apparently has one of the best views in all of Japan. So, maybe. Or you can go to abroad in Japan and check it out. But in person, it's definitely a lot different, different experience, right? So, recommended. Either way. I used to see this landscape every day as a child. 
that's probably why I chose to live in a coastal town. Okay, so you move from Masashima to Kagawa. I guess I'm emotionally tied to the sea. As promised, and as a reward for your efforts, here's a gift from me. I call it the Kanji Dex. Hey, we finally got the Pokedex after six hours of uh, going through this game. Quite a bit longer, but you know, hey, as long as we got it. I, it will record the kanji of the words you discover in your adventure. Meanwhile, it's also going to help me with my linguistic research. You can find it in your book. Come back when you've discovered more kanji. You've got everything you need to take on the Japanese Grandmaster in Marugame. Marugame wa Takamatsu eki no hidari ni arimasu. Marugame. Oh, we're going to Marugame from the train station. Ah, that's why we need the. Well, I knew we need we needed kanji to get to Marugame, but I didn't realize we needed the this first. Mata ne. Mata ne. Kanji decks unlocked. What is this book? Kore wa Saeki san no hon desu. Saeki's book. I am a cat. Oh, I, there are kanji here I cannot read. Uh, something something wa neko. De aru. De aru. Something something neko de aru. Translates to I am a cat by Sos uh, Sosuke Natsume. This, this looks complicated. I see five mouths and something here, but I do not know what this is. It's like a gate on top of a car. But how to pronounce it? That's a different story. Fish, 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 public. She's like spitting kanjis left and right here. It's all full, full of complex kanji. Cat? Okay, let's look at, take a look at the kanji decks really quick. See how that looks. Okay, so we have 35 kanji so far. Uh, it looks like it's a range in the block kind of setting and it's a little hard to read, not gonna lie. How do we filter this? N5, N... Oh, they do plan to go all the way to N1. You can't really see it on the screen because the chat is covering it, but they, it looks like they are planning to go all the way to N1, or at least cover a little bit of N1 kanji, which is interesting. Um, just for reference, I think you need to know some 2000 plus kanji just for daily life in Japan. And I'm not quite sure. I mean, yeah, around 2000 plus, and that'll get you like N2, N1, but... There's like a bunch of different uh, combinations of kanji that's really complicated to read and get the meaning out of. So this will be interesting to see. Grade school kanji all the way to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What's J3? I'm guessing that's high school. I'm not sure what J3 is. Let's, let's see what the grade 1 kanji are. So grade one kanji, we seem like we have most of it. Left, right, up, down, left. Uh, book, water, sun, tree. We have man, woman. You know, this is the fairly basic. Okay, what's grade two? Grade two, we get the nani, ike, go, outside, house. Slightly more complicated. Imagine learning this when you're in second grade. It seems a little bit more complex just by looking at it but they're not looking at radicals at this point they're just looking at the they're just looking at is it useful in my daily life kind of thing which in english you do the same thing uh grade three kanji we don't have a whole lot here but i'm surprised they didn't learn the the kanji for station sooner or the kanji for drink because even like uh grade schoolers will take the trains by themselves in even in tokyo they will take the trains by themselves and go to school by themselves. So interesting that they don't teach that until then. Four. We only have one so far, but then again, keep in mind, we only have one prefecture. But I'm surprised this is uh, four, though. 
What's five? Five is this dialect bin. So I'm looking at the the kanji decks. We have the the kanji itself. I don't think, like I said, I don't think they're gonna go into radicals too much. But if they do, I will be surprised and very impressed. Uh, they do give you pronunciations for it. We may get oh. If you click on this, you can see what this is. Onyomi is the Sino Japanese reading, is a Japanese approximation of the Chinese pronunciation of the kanji at the time it was introduced. No, uh, specific thing here, at that time it was introduced. And apparently, as from, from I looked this up a little bit before, and depending on when it was introduced, the pronunciations for even the same kanji is going to be a little bit different. I don't know how that works, but apparently it has something to do with whoever is ruling China at the time. And that's why it could be, it could sound a little bit different. Um, they also give you here. I am kind of hiding it on my head. N1, uh, how many uses it has? What does this mean? I click on it. Nothing happens. Ah, Oh, wow, they give you a lot more detail than I thought. This is a grade 5 level, age 6, 7, 8. Okay, they do break it down. J3 is junior high. Oh, third year junior high. I see. We have we don't have any high school levels yet, apparently. Not yet, but maybe eventually we will. Wow, this is actually really useful. We're going to see this we're going to see this uh game more often in the channel, especially when Especially when we uh, get the full release, because I feel like there's a really useful tool for me and for everyone else. So, yeah, I think for me, doing it on stream is a good review. And as if you guys have any questions as we go along, definitely ask. I'll try to explain as best as I can. I am not an expert. I'm learning just like everyone else. And if we have any people who are more fluent than I am, Please help explain because I am definitely <laughs> I definitely use weird ways to to remember things sometimes and my explanations are not exactly the um, the easiest to to understand. Okay, Watashi is at six and J three. Really, Neko is at J three. Kunyomi. Kunyomi is a Japanese reading or native reading. It is based on the pronunciation of a Japanese native word. Pronunciation was then associated to a kanji when it was introduced in Japan. Makes sense. The the, the thing to, to keep in mind with a lot of the kanji. A lot of kanji have two pronunciations. And it seems like if we haven't run across that pronunciation yet, they're not going to show it. And I'm trying to find an example here that has both kunyomi. Oh, here we go. Kunyomi and onyomi. Seems like for person, we have jin, which is the uh, the onyomi reading, and kunyomi is hidden. If you know this one, it's gonna be nin. I think it's nin or hito. No, hito might just be the the vocabulary. We'll see what we'll see what they use. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna think it's nin though. Technically, I think this one also has two pronunciations. The onom, onyomi is uh, ni, but some might just have one. Some a lot of them have two. We'll see what they cover as we go. Otoko kunyomi. Definitely, I know there's a there's another pronunciation for this one. It's called it's dan. Dan as in Danshi. Danjo. Danjo, Danjo, Danjo. Does anyone know that song? The Danjo song? The Danjo song used to be really popular back in the day. And there was a bunch of um, videos based on, based on that. Check it out if you haven't uh, seen it. It's just type in Danjo song. And apparently that... Uh, Helped a lot of people figure out what man and woman was <laughs> at the time. Uh, but as far as the game is concerned, that is uh, that is it for us today. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for watching. And thank you for listening. The book is called 
new Penguin Parallel text short stories in Japanese. Okay, let me copy that kanji and I will put it in my file here. And I will also put that in the description as far as um, books mentioned, titles mentioned during the stream, just in case anyone needs a quick reference and doesn't want to dig or know where to dig in the stream itself. Because I mean, it, it, let's, let's be honest, streams are kind of long. Streams are kind of long. It's a little hard to find anything here so unless you watch the entire thing and actually listen to everything. Sometimes I watch a stream or watch a VOD of a stream and I fall asleep to it, <laughs> which is kind of bad, but you know, sometimes I'm just super tired. I just need something in the background, which is understandable. I do the same thing. I take no offense to it because I do the same thing. <laughs> so anyway, again, thank you all for coming everyone uh, for this Japanese lesson today. We will do this again next week. Yeah, we will do this again next week and uh, keep an eye out on a announcement in the community tab in the next few days. It will affect what we do end of the month and beginning of next month. But I'll just say it right now. It's, a, it's not a bad announcement. Just basically, I'm going to be taking a short break and you'll... I'll pro I, did I explain it on the announcement? You'll you'll see it. You'll see it. You'll see it. But I'll be taking a short break, um, and so there might be a couple of weeks where we don't go over Japanese stuff on Sundays. I'm gonna try to make. Uh, I mean, it's been kind of unofficial, but I've been doing Jap Japanese stuff on a Sunday, just because that was the only time I had free time to do a short stream of it. But it seems like it's the best time to do it. Just in general. I don't know why. It feels it feels right. Nihongo Nichiyobi. There's a there's a pun there. Nihongo Nichiyobi. Sun Sun Sun. Japanese. Anyway. Alright, I'm gonna get some breakfast. So um, everyone get some rest it, or get breakfast, dinner, wherever you are, or you know, just get some sleep. Get some sleep. All right. Bye-bye, everyone. See you later. Bye-bye.